Welcome back guys. So today we're going to look at allowing your IMC base platform to authenticate operators through Microsoft Active Directory. So this is not .1x Mac authentication, you know, authenticating against remote directory service. This is just your operators. So this is really three tasks we're going to look at. We're going to create operator groups, we're going to configure the authentication server, and then we're just going to test authentication and make sure that this works properly. So let's take a look. So the first thing we're going to do is look into Active Directory users and computers. And as you can see, I've got my uh, set of admins here that I'm going to set up. So um, Boober, Gobo, Moki, Red, and Wimbly for those of uh, Fraggle Rock fame. Um, you can see I've got this set up as the ha.int domain. And I've got these in OU called lab. Okay, so that's you got, are going to require a little bit of LDAP knowledge, but we should be able to get you guys through this with uh, no pain. So here we are at the IMC homepage, and we're going to go up to System, and then go to Operator Management, and go to Authentication Server. So this is where we're going to fill in all the information about our authentication server. So you could also uh, push off authentication requests to a, a Radius server somewhere, but in our case, we're just going to use a Microsoft Active Directory. So we've got the IP address of the AD server we want to point to, and the base DN. So this is the DC equals the first part of the domain name, comma, dc equals int. So if you have lab.local, it would be dc equals lab, comma, dc equals local. And then again, the admin, um, common name, username, common name, users. You guys can see this on the screen here. And then, of course, the admin password. This does not have to be an AD admin account, for the record. You can have this as any other account. So there's no uh, concern about having additional privileges in here. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to add a user. So we're not doing an LDAP sync. We're not pulling directory users in here. We're just authenticating against AD. So we're going to go in here and create a new user, and we're going to have the authentication type go against LDAP. And as you can see, all the password information all went away here. And of course, we've got our three default operator groups. So just for, uh, for some fun here, let's go in and create a new operator group that has less privilege and, and we're going to be able to uh, to test this out. So we'll go to system, operator management, and operator group. Now we're going to click on the add button. So operator groups are really how we can um, how we can restrict access to services in within IMC. So as you can see here we can uncheck all the checkboxes and um, if this user was part of this new operator group you know, we could say they're only going to have access to the real-time location. Um, let's actually use the privilege as well in here. So let's uh, let's call this real-time, and then we'll change this to a view privilege level. So this will not be a admin or a maintainer. This will have someone who is view only. That's all they can do on the system is look at things. So again, we'll go through the uh, the list and uncheck them here for the operator group. I do have a couple modules installed, so this does take a couple of seconds. No big deal. This is a one-time thing. And we'll go up to the top here, and let's say that this is a perhaps a help desk user, and all you want them to do is to be able to locate IP addresses using the terminal access real-time location function. So there we do. Uh, our real-time locate is group is, is there. Now we're going to go back to operator management, and we're going to go look at that operator red fraggle that we created. So we are going to modify this. And we're now going to make the operator group, instead of the admin group, we're going to make it part of the real-time locate, which of course had view only. And now all your options change. You could restrict you know, the managed groups, define the manageable groups, define the custom, the custom views, all those kind of things. In our case, we're just going to leave this as default and click OK. So now I'm going to go log out. I'm going to attempt to log back in as the new red account. Type in the password and we're going to click login. So now this is going out and doing an authentication against the Windows Active Directory server. Wow, operator password is incorrect. Hmm. So I'm going to go over and take a look at the Active Directory portion again because it's entirely possible I misspelled the password. So uh, before we start doing any uh, 
any crazy troubleshooting and looking at log files, let's just type the password in here again and see if this actually, you know, my typing skills are, uh, are as good as my mouse clicking skills. We'll uncheck that, click OK, password has been changed. So now let's go back over to the IMC page and we will put in red again and put in the new password that I just typed in very, very carefully and memorized. And there we go, we've logged in. So as you can see, the IMC homepage looks quite a bit different now um, as far as the resources. The only thing we've got underneath the resources is real-time locate. That's it. It's a view-only account with real-time location. So just to prove this is actually going to work on the live environment, I'll go in here and type in a known IP address. Click OK. There we go. We can see that it is on the device of 10.101.0.221 IP address, and it's actually seen on gigabit Ethernet 2 slash 0 slash 18. So that's obviously a uh, an IRF stack. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is offloading your authentication from IMC local database onto your Active Directory service. So at this point, um, all your passwords for the authentication purposes, it's going to be always, always up to date with whatever your Windows credentials actually are. So really kind of takes the guesswork out of having to memorize all those passwords. See you guys next time on the next IMC Management Tutorial.